This is just a video demonstration of my current setup for using all these VST plugins to perform a MIDI keyed software code practice oscillator. We're using Regate and a MIDI keyboard, our MIDI interface, to key this software synthesizer called Bipper. Bipper will send audio from this event and key a sine wave oscillator with no rise time or fall time, so we need to filter that. And this is how we do that. So it's going to the engineer's filter first. And then it's going to the equalizer. It's shaped like this. Then, to be able to vary the pitch on the fly, we're using this. That this is very nice to be able to fine tune it, especially as you get higher speeds. Then, it's going to a second engineer's filter because this creates a little harmonic. What's this one? Let me uh, demonstrate what that sounds like. You may or may not be able to hear this. I'll show you the, the GUI of this in just a second. Then it's going to a gain control right here so that I can vary the amount of energy that goes to the VB cable ASIO bridge so we get the proper input to mumble which is about right here, which is about minus 15 dB, and I'll show you that with span here. So it's about minus 15, and that's where we want it. So all that is working well. And then we have the ability of another oscillator, Echo CW, which is this application that can also, for the uh, actual Morse code key or paddles. We're using this and we also have FL Digi which is actually sending this file as you see. But its audio is going directly to Regate and if you set it just right it exactly duplicates the element length and keys a MIDI note on note 79 and that's what you're hearing from Bipper uh, with the adjustment from the Freak Shifter which is taking it up about a hundred or so Hertz so that's where it's, that's, the, where, that's about the frequency it's coming out of Bipper at but for this speed I like it to be about right there for this speed Okay, let's take a look at the frequency spectrum. And we'll, this final filter here, the second filter, this, I'll show you why that's necessary to filter it after the freak shifter. So let me take this one out of, and you can watch the noise. If you can't hear it, you'll be able to see it. So there's a lot of low frequency and high frequency components without this filter. And there's various ways to set this. So it's kind of fun. If you want just a little bit of percussion, you can choose one of these. And uh, I prefer the Bessel and the inverse Chebyshev. Chevy, how do we pronounce that? <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. off and I think that sums it up and uh, the MIDI keyboard can be keyed from an interface either a hard hardware keyboard or a software keyboard that you use your mouse can both key this bipper okay thanks